visual media concepts, your web video and podcasting experts. Visit us at www.vizmedia.biz. Hi, my name is Bob Cannon, and today we're going to take aim at decision making. Did you know that there's 20 years of research at Ohio State that says that half of all decisions fail? Isn't that amazing? Half of all decisions fail. I happen to believe that the reason that they fail is because of the method that we use. We follow a traditional seven-step process for decision making and it's a how-based approach to decision-making. The first step is to define the problem. The second step is to state an objective. The third is to come up with alternatives. The fourth is to evaluate those alternatives. Five is to estimate the risk. Six is to pick an option. And seven is to implement. That's the method we've all been taught to use. Isn't it amazing that we've all been taught to look at decisions as problems to be solved? How many of you have ever been approached by your boss when they came to you and said, we have a problem? How did you feel? Were you excited? Inspired? Creative? I don't think so. With that approach in mind, you can understand when I say that traditional decision-making method leaves us with lots of problems. The second step is to not have the problem. Now, I don't know about you, but I certainly don't wake up in the morning looking forward to attacking my first problem each day. When we have problems, that's not where we're at our best. We're at our best in a positive mindset. Let me give you an example of what happens on a daily basis. Occasionally, I try to play golf and I try to envision each shot before I take it. I will envision the ball sailing across the green and right into the hole. The problem arises when someone says to me, Bob, do not hit the ball into the water. What do I do? Exactly, right into the lake. And why is that? My mind doesn't recognize negative thoughts. When somebody says to me, do not hit it into the water, what I hear is, do hit it into the water. Now, if any of you are parents, you've experienced the same thing. How many times have you ever told your children not to do something, and they did that very thing? Kids don't respond well to negative declarations either. Even God had this problem when he told Adam and Eve, do not eat from the tree of knowledge. Isn't it obvious that we should get away from negative declarations and move to a more positive, constructive approach to decision making? I'm Bob Cannon, and you can find out more about decision making at www.cannonadvantage.com. Thanks a lot. Blowing you away with every project. Visual Media Concepts.